Hello everyone, I'm Lucy Tian with Coffee and Craft. Uh, today I have released uh, Little Craft CAD version 1.4.3 and that includes a very important update. So please watch this video all the way uh, to the end. Okay, the, the first thing is um, the previous version 1.4.0 was extremely slow when there are arcs uh, like this, uh, a lot of arcs uh, in the project. So I improved um, th that part of algorithm uh, not to slow down on the whole thing and also I added um, one more improvement uh, for the drawing speed uh, so when uh, there are a lot of parts like this uh, it gets slower and then it will be a little faster if you hide the grid like this um, if you press G key uh, it will turn on and off the grid and it will make it a little bit faster but um, if there are a, a lot of parts like this uh, it gets slower and but uh, if you zoom in um, as you zoom in like this using the uh, mouse wheel in the previous version uh, it was still drawing uh, all the parts all the shapes even if they are um, you know out of range but uh, from this version, um, I stopped drawing those, um, you know, parts out of range. So it's it's really fast uh, when you zoom in. So if you're editing uh, zoom to in like this, it gets really fast and then it's much comfortable. OK, so that is the um, speed improvement. Um, next thing is um, I added new feature to the arc. Um, so let me draw an arc three points so one and two and three okay so uh, in the previous version um, I added a feature to uh, you know to indicate the middle point uh, of the arc so if you draw a line from the center to the middle uh, you can snap um, the line end of the line and then uh, like this but from this version, I also added a quarter point and also a third quarter point indicator uh, like this. So you can draw a perfect 25% um, position uh, yeah, here. And also 75% position uh, of an arc like this. So uh, if you need to draw something uh, li like this, 25% uh, like a quarter half and uh, three quarter and at the end um, it will be much much easier and much much uh, accurate than before okay the third thing is um, I changed uh, the line uh, two options a little bit so um, um, this line length was here uh, at, from the beginning but I uh, changed a little bit uh, about the, the angle so by default, uh, line angle is none. That means you, know, you can draw uh, whatever the lines. Uh, it's a total freedom. But um, you can also set uh, relative or horizontal or vertical. So let me explain that. So the horizontal or uh, vertical, this option is the one uh, added from this version. So when you click this, uh, when you choose this, um, you can draw either horizontal or vertical line like this, depending on where the mouse cursor is. So this feature was there from the beginning um, by pressing shift. Uh, so if you press shift, even without this option is on, so set angle none. You could do this by pressing shift. So I'm, I'm pressing shift right now. And uh, if I release um, shift key, then uh, it, you know, it gets total freedom again. So this was there, but um, some people may not have noticed that this is uh, here. So for those people who don't know the, the shift key feature, I added this uh, horizontal vertical option uh, radio button here. All right, so on the relative is relative angle from uh, another line. So starting from this end, you can draw a 45 degree angle either this way or that way and of course you can change this one to 25 uh, or whatever the angle and then you can draw a 25 uh, angle line from the reference line yeah this option was there uh, in the previous version too but I just renamed it and then changed the location of the option that's it
Okay, uh, third thing is uh, about the dimension line. So uh, when you click dimension line, uh, you can draw uh, dimension information like this. Let me make it a little bigger. Okay, so uh, you can draw uh, dimension information uh, like this. But you can also make this line uh, as a single line. Um, if I choose this single line, then um, it will be uh, this arrow uh, will be a single line and the number will be drawn um, just below the arrow or above the line, depending on where the, the mouse cursor is. In the previous version, uh, this number was drawn somewhere here on top of the line and it wasn't easy to see what the number is what the size is so i changed the location below the line or above the line so that's the fourth update so the last update um, in this version is the uh, printing feature uh, only for the selected items in the previous version um, everything is printed um, but uh, from this version you can limit the um, you know printing target if you want to print only this one then select like this and print and uh, let me just choose a printer and uh, paper uh, landscape yep so um here's a new checkbox here print selected shapes only and if you hit that then um uh, it will show only the selected items. So it's much easier to print only a limited part of uh, the project. So if you want to limit the um, items to print, um, please do it this way. Okay, so I think that's it. So please download um, version 1.4.3 from my website and then try it. And if you have any questions, suggestions, um, please let me know by writing in comments or sending me an email or mention me on Twitter, X, uh, whichever method uh, that works for you best. All right, so thank you for watching to the end. I hope you will enjoy uh, Little Craft Cat, and I'm hoping I will see you in the next video. All right, take care. Bye-bye.